Now let's take this problem. Find the number of different four letter words with or without meaning that can be formed from the letters of the word number. Now friends, here we are having six alphabets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have to make four letter words only, right? And uh, maybe they are meaningful or not meaningful, it doesn't matter, right? So first of all, what we have to do, we have to make a selection, right? Only selection we are making of uh, in the first case. So to uh, make four letter word, we know, uh, need four uh, alphabets, right? So out of six, six alphabets, we are selecting four. So we have done the selection of four alphabets out of six, right? Now to make different words, this four selected alphabets can be arranged in various manners, right? So four alphabets can be arranged in four factorial ways right it's selection then after selection we are making the arrangement right so selection then arrangement so now we can solve this uh, 64 into 4 factorial 64 is what it's um friends actually ncr is equal to nc n minus r right why it is happening since so n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial and this is also the same thing n factorial by difference of these two that will be r factorial then this a term alone so it will be i n minus r factorial right so this and this both the um, like uh, formula are same both the expression are same so 6 c 4 is nothing but 6 c 2 into this is 4 factorial now there is one more short way to solve a uh, 6 c 2 just reduce uh, this number to this number uh, till an uh, to this uh, number right so 6 into 5 up to 2 step we have to reduce it right if there is 2 over here if there is 3 over here up to 3 steps we have to reduce right so up to 2 steps we are reducing it then divided by factorial of this number so it's 2 2 and 2 factorial both the things are same now this is 24 right so 6 5s are 30 into 12 360 ways will be there to make uh, 4 letter words from the uh, letters of the word number right so i hope you are clear first of all we have done the selection then after selecting four uh, alphabets four letters we arranged them in four factorial ways right because different arrangement will produce different words right actually it is a permutation but i am not using the term permutation what i am doing I am selecting the objects and then arranging them, right? Now in this case, how many words with or without meaning can be formed using the letters of the word triangle? Now friends, uh, there are eight letters in this word, right? Now we have to use all of them. That means we have eight choices, right? Now eight letters to be arranged at eight places, that means eight factorial ways are there, right? Because we don't have to choose the letters because we have to use all the letters right so what we can say it's the uh, or like if we go by this way at first place eight choices are there second place seven choices six then five four three two one so it's nothing but eight factorial right or we can say eight places are there and eight objects are there so they can be arranged in eight factorial ways this uh, you don't have to do this right now friends let's see uh, this problem in how many ways can the letters of the word pencil be arranged so that uh, we have two conditions right uh, we take three questions uh, from this question the first is without any restriction right I have to uh, make different words of uh, using the letters of word pencil that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? The first is there is no restriction. Then how many words I will be able to form? That is 6 factorial, right? 6 letters are there. That means 6 places are there and 6 places are to be filled up by 6 letters. That means 720 or 6 factorial ways will be there so that is no restriction no condition at all now we take this condition that is n is always next to e that means see we have p uh, c i l and n and e right n 
is always next to E. That means what we want is the situation, right? E and N. Now I take this as a single word because we have to make them together. We have to uh, set them together. So I just take it as a single word. Now the single word can be arranged wherever, uh, anywhere, right? So now I have one, two, three, four, five um, objects and five places, right? Because I'm considering this as a single object, right? But this single object can be placed here, 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 and here or here, right? So this single word can move anywhere. So I have five places and five uh, letters to arrange. So there will be five factorial ways, right? Now the other cases, N and E are always together. Now in this case also N and E are together, but we uh, were having a condition that N is always next to E. That means E and should be the order. Now if N and E should only be together, then E N and N E, both of them are, uh, both the conditions are or both the events are acceptable, right? So. Uh, apart from this 5 factorial, this NE will also be acceptable. So, the, uh, we will be getting 2 arrangements, right? So, 5 factorial into 2, that will be the total number of arrangement. I further repeat is um, this, this P, then this is, I just tied them. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 factorial ways are there and E and E and N can be arranged in two ways, E, N, 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 E, right? So, 5 factorial into two ways are there to make this arrangement, right? For the previous one, the answer was 5 factorial only, but for this one, 5 factorial into 2, right? And this condition was there, the, like N is always next to E. So, we were restricted for this. Here, we have the two choices, E, N, 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 E, right? So, we got the more number of ways or we can say double number of ways right so i hope you are clear what is the difference between these two